Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is A Train 9 version 3. Now, if you were watching my previous series, uh, this will look entirely unfamiliar to you. And that's largely because I've started again. Uh, in the old series, what I attempted to do uh, was to create a passenger loop around many different districts inside a, uh, a city or a, a group of cities. I mean, it, it, it had grown reasonably spectacularly, but uh, I was having a very difficult time making any profit out of it. Uh, moreover, I was having a, an increasingly tricky time actually getting services to run in such a way that they didn't uh, collide with one another. It was basically, I mean, it's it's a shortcoming of the loop. Now, the timetable system in A-Train is superb. I mean, it really does give you an awful lot of flexibility, but it doesn't lend itself to looping. Unless you, you know, you d design your city in such a way that uh, you can run a 24-hour-a-day loop, then uh, you're kind of stuck. Um, you know, there's, there's not an awful lot you can do about it. Um, yeah, you, I mean, you have to set trains to, to set off at ridiculous times if you're going to run any kind of consistent service. So I played around with the old save quite a bit to see exactly what was going on, and uh, and it almost didn't matter what changes I made. Uh, it, it was impossible for me to make a profit. Uh, the tax man would, uh, would turn up and would quite happily remove every last penny I had. So it basically ended up that, that pretty much every year I had to... Uh, <laughs> I, I effectively had to um, uh, fiddle the stock market in order just to stay afloat. So I've started afresh, and uh, and as before, I've made myself a custom map. And uh, and what I've given myself to start with is uh, one factory and three stations. That's the lot, and and the the track in between. Uh, this train is. Uh, Oh no, no, I also threw this train into the deal. Um, I've also given myself two billion quid to get started. If I can't make a go of this, starting with two billion, um, then, uh, then frankly, I might as well give it up and go and play something else. So, what am I going to do with this series? Well, unlike the last one, where I would uh, I'd, I'd try and kind of build while you were watching, which is the, the standard way that I kind of do a Let's Play series. In this one, I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. Uh, what I'll do is I'll build while you're not watching, and then uh, show you what I just built when you turn up. Um, this will lead to, hopefully, uh, a little bit better progress. And it means that if I do screw it up in, uh, in one place or another, that, uh, that I can then go over it and do it again uh, before showing off exactly what's happened. So right now I'm uh, I'm just following our only train, uh, and this is you know it's a pretty standard goods train. It's a it's a generic goods train. I used the uh, the American uh, kind of freight train last time round, and uh, and this time I thought let's go with the uh, the, the Japanese version. Uh, as you can see, I've got a depot set up in both the two uh, the two kind of districts that I'm working on. Um, and my aim is, once these have started building up to the point that uh, uh, that I think there's probably some population going on, uh, which will probably be quite soon, then I'll set uh, some passenger services in motion as well. My entire aim with this series, unlike the last one, is uh, is to make money from from actually running rail services. Now, uh, I could uh, I could quite easily, you know, make a few quid out of uh, out of just subsidying the hell out of the place, but I found that the the changes in land value were such that uh, property tax would just kick your face in. So, uh, so there you go. So there's the plan. Let's uh, let's stop following this chat for a moment, uh, and I'll show you what we've got. Uh, I think you've you've probably surmised uh, the the kind of the basics here. So I've built the track out, and the aim is it, uh, intended. Uh, the intended aim will be to have a station here, and maybe another one around here somewhere, and a, and a third one here, as we've already got, passing through our one factory. Not going overboard on factories this time. Uh, and then through the next one and the next one and go to the other end of this kind of uh, fairly lengthy island we've got going on here. And every day we'll run point-to-point -point services. So it will be a scheduled set off from the start of the route or from each way along the route. 
and will proceed all the way along it. So rather than, you know, chance uh, profitability from a from a loop based system, this will be an end to end based system. And, and my hope is that uh, uh, I'll also be running, I mean, I'll be running branching services off this line as well. But my hope is to be actually to be able to actually come up with a, a pretty complex uh, system of uh, of timetabling so that it, it looks and feels rather like a uh, a living, breathing rail network. Uh, at present, this chap is not doing any deliveries at the weekend. And, uh, and the other significant change between this and the last time I played is we don't uh, uh, is uh, I've slowed the game speed down. So previously it was uh, 450 times reality uh, in terms of how fast the clock ticks. And in this one we've gone for 60 times reality. That means that instead of you know a relatively short uh, rail hop taking 8 hours uh, we can have a relatively short hop take 45 minutes or, or, or 1 hour. Um, the upshot should allow me for some, some more clever uh, timetabling when the when the time actually comes. So there you go. So that's what we've got so far. I'm going to I'm going to put a passenger train in. It's too early. I know this, uh, but I want to let's let's start as we mean to go on. So I mean the one thing I did try in the uh, in the previous build, which came close to working, uh, was uh, was running a passenger service with a larger train. And this is this is something that I've also found in Train Fever is if you're just going to run small services, sure you'll fill them up, but the the profit margins compared to uh, the the running costs of the thing, you, you're you're doomed, doomed to failure. So uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, try something a little different. Let's make sure I've got this on the right track. Obviously, we will move these around as time progresses. But let's, uh, there we go, hold on, give me the timetable assistant here. Okay, so to start with, we will only run on weekdays, and we will only run, uh, I need to, I'll edit that one when he comes back in, and uh, we only want to run between, uh, let's say, 7.30, uh, yeah, 7.30 is good, and, uh, and then wait for an hour at... Uh, at either end and then we'll have the last one take off at 10 p.m. So as you can see that's going to allow for, for many more journeys theoretically than uh, than we were managing on our route last time round. So let's uh, let's set him in motion. We're on Saturday so I'm going to uh, forward to Monday. Uh, this policy of uh, of only uh, only showing you when uh, when progress has been made should also lead to a situation where I don't fast forward quite so often. But in this first case, I wanted to have something to show. Uh, we will pass through the goods depot. There is nothing for you to do there. So uh, yeah, just uh, make your progress. So I've put a whacking great train on there, far bigger than we need. Uh, departure zone. 7 a.m. Just in case, just in case uh, you end up there at the end of the or your shift, and then 10 p.m. as the last service of the day, and reverse, and getting on and off, and weekdays only. Good show. There we go. So he's going to hang around for an hour. As you can see, you know, an hour actually takes a, a reasonable amount of time. Uh, as it passed. Through, thank you. And here we are at the other end where we also want it to reverse. Continue. Right. Uh, let's have a look and see how this one actually does, shall we? That could just be me, but it didn't look like it had oh, no, status. There we go. One passenger. Well, that's progress. That's up from zero. So, I mean, largely the reason I give myself two billion quid is so that I can afford to run unprofitably to begin with. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to at uh, attempt to do is uh, not interfere with the natural growth of, uh, of each city area. So what I'll try and do is when I build a new station, I'll set a couple of level crossings up just so that the AI can, can grow the city. But uh, after that, it's on its own. I have seen these guys build uh, build roads solo, maybe not in the uh, in the most realistic fashion. Tell you what, let's let's follow this guy while I'm just talking. Uh, where are we? 
So there we go. He left at about 7.30. Let's see how long this takes. 7.30, arrives at the station at quarter past eight. Magic. That is that is so much nicer than the previous version. So nothing is going to make me profit for, for quite a while. Um, but my hope is uh, that, uh, that that won't take too long to actually build up. Uh, because, you know, riding around in the train is rather excellent, for starters. Um, nah, he's not going anywhere till morning now. Let's put it on follow so I can at least swing around a little. Just a standard, fairly slow commuter train, but that's all good. Uh, I've got this, I, I've, I've built some subsid subsidiaries actually. I built a, an AR office at, uh, at both the passenger stations and one standard office block just to kind of G people along. A little in uh, in moving in so there you go that's the new series uh if there's something you'd particularly like to see um I'd, I'd, you know I'd, I'd, there aren't many people covering a train on youtube so uh, so please let me know and equally i'm quite happy to take your suggestions and tips for how i can be playing better so uh my aim is to be doing two to three videos on a train every week so get involved and uh and who knows if it's particularly successful we, we could up the tempo i like the game i like its uh its kind of creative potential but I'm having real difficulty in making a profit on it, and I don't want to play it in a pure sandbox mode. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, by, by all means, comment, get stuck in, tell me what I should be doing. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure, and I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.